Many of us are concerned about the alarming rate of biodiversity loss. Now you may be wondering, what can I do about it? Well, you can lie down in front of a bulldozer. You can give up paper and plastic. You can fight sprawl at City Hall. You can give up the mansion and reduce your footprint on the planet. But you can't ignore the heart of the matter. There are just too many of us. Would you ladies be interested in some free extinct species condoms? No, thank you. No. Sir, this is your lucky day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These are free. No, thank you. Do you know what the population of the planet is today? No. Is it a concern to you at all? No. I have a free gift for you. You'll answer one question. No? Oh, you're trying to run away. Yes. Are you embarrassed? I know I am. These are threatened and endangered species condoms. Oh my God. Okay, so I saw this on, on the news actually. Did you? I totally did. This is awesome. I'm one of those 3,000 volunteers. I love it. I love it. This is a brilliant idea. What is it? Hurry up. Did you know that human overpopulation is a primary cause of species extinction? Would you guys like some free extinct species condoms? Uh, Are you wildlife or something? Would you like some free spotted owl condoms? Sure. I have a special delivery. All right, I'm going to give you the answer and you give me the question, okay? The answer is more than 150 a minute, 200,000 a day, more than 80 million per year. This is very advanced math. What's the question? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. People dying of AIDS? I think it has something to do with the national debt. You stunned me. How many texts my son sends? <laughs> Oh, he's, he's unaffordable. <laughs> exactly. Children can be very expensive. <laughs> I have no idea. You tell me. The question is, how fast are we adding people to an already overcrowded planet? Is that stunning? Does that surprise you that we're adding 150 people to the planet every minute? You're not concerned about human overpopulation? Maybe you are, but I'm not. Did you know that somewhere in the U.S. every seven seconds a woman is giving birth? Oh, do you think we ought to find her, though, and give her some of these endangered species condoms? Uh, I don't think she's around here. Who is that woman? How can she do it? She must be tired. Nearly 50% of pregnancies in the U.S. were unintended. 40% around the world unintended. Wow. No way! That's a lot. Um, actually, th this is a conversation I'd rather not have. Did you know that we're in the middle of the sixth mass extinction of species? Do you know what some of the leading causes of uh, species extinction are? Us. I'm gonna guess human encroachment. Overpopulation and crowding on their habitat. Did you know that human overpopulation is a primary factor in species extinction? I did not know that. No. I did not know that. Aha, <laughs> there you go. So think about it, the more people there are, the more habitat we have to pave over. So, you know what you personally can do about that? Like, I agree it's a problem, but I don't really know how we could fix it, because... I have the answer oh. right here. Oh, well look at that. Wear a Jimmy hat, save the big cat. Wear a condom on every conceivable occasion. Wear a condom? Yep. <laughs> okay. Would you like some? I would, I would. love some, Thank you. but I'm going to wait until I'm married. Did you know that making responsible family-sized decisions can reduce your footprint more than giving up your Hummer and your private jet? Are they like <laughs> sheep fur or something? Um, I could have guessed. No, they're pretty basic uh, condoms, but they're courtesy of the Center for Biological Diversity. All right. Thank would you. you like some too? Thank you. Some spotted owl condoms so that what happens in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. I'm already We're fixed. Too We're too old. Our resource intensity times the number of people that are using the resources. Would you like some? Yes. Yep. How about you? You too? Yeah, okay. sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you. She probably doesn't need no. them. Noise. Noise pollution. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine if that guy's mother had and father had had these. And I bet you know one guy who you really want to make sure doesn't reproduce himself, right? <laughs> They're courtesy of the Center for Biological Diversity. Cool. Oh, I'm good. I don't I don't really want to bother. Don't need them? Okay. We've got uh, Hump Smarter Save the Snail Darter condoms. <laughs> I'm not married and don't need them. <laughs> Thanks very much. We don't need them. Uh-oh. No. No? Mm -mm. Why do I need them? Oh, well, don't you? No. I've already been to the doctor. Is that because of the teachings of the church? Ah, uh, yes. You know, to make wise decisions about when they have children and how many children. Yes, I could use some of these. Well, there you go. Do you think that's pretty widespread? Is that pretty common? I... Well, it should be. What the Pope doesn't know won't hurt him. These supply you with some really great pickup lines for the ladies, yeah, too. Yeah, I can imagine. Hey, you want to come back to my place and see my big cat? Yeah, there you go. Hey, you want to come back to my place and see my snail darter? Or... Yeah, I don't know how effective that would be. <laughs> You think that's funny? Yeah. Want to see my giant anaconda? 
let's save uh, the, the species going extinct and use a condom. Great, thanks. All right, well, thanks have for, a good one. Thanks for talking with us today. Yeah, for sure. All right.